We're already seeing blue sky out there right now. Showers, thunderstorms that were around over the last several hours have shifted out of our area. Let's get a look at Lincoln. You can see the blue skies here, some puffy clouds, and that's about it. New Bedford, you were the last to see the rain in our area, and you've got blue skies trying to peek out behind those clouds. There's the rain out across the Cape Cod Canal, out toward the vineyard and south of the vineyard and well south and east of Block Island. I am tracking some more showers and thunder, though, off to our south and west. Now, some of these storms could work their way into our area a little bit later on in the morning. We'll be talking about that more in just a little bit. Take a look at some of the rainfall. These areas of green, these stripes of green where some of the heavier rain is set up during the overnight hours. Boy, if you just move that, what, about uh, five to eight miles on off to the south and east, we could be looking at a much different situation this morning with the heavier rain moving right over the uh, uh, urban area of Providence. Warren picked up 1.73 inches of rain. Dighton, a little more than an inch. Prudence Island, three quarters of an inch. Same for Smithfield. TF Green Airport officially about a half an inch of rain. Flooding still possible today with more showers, thunderstorms that could be coming on through. But I think we're looking at at least several hours of dry weather, which is good. The weekend weather right now, I think Saturday is going to be the better of the two weekend days. Temperatures are in the 60s to about 70 degrees. It's very muggy, 70 in westerly. We're at 68 in Newport, up in Taunton, 74. So we've got these showers, thunderstorms coming through the area. Some more in the New York City area, some south of Long Long Island, some west of New York. They're all associated with this cold front that continues to work its way on off toward southern New England. And out ahead of it, the atmosphere is kind of getting wrung out of all the moisture. This is about 930 in the morning. Maybe some showers, thunderstorms coming on through until maybe around noontime, two o'clock, and then the skies may actually clear out. Now, I can't rule out another passing shower or thunderstorm during the afternoon, but I think the worst of the weather today has already happened early this morning with those showers and uh, thunderstorms. But certainly another shower or thunderstorm possible, so stay uh, weather aware through the day. This morning, shower around 8 o'clock, looking at the possibility of a shower or thunderstorm late morning until about midday, and even during the afternoon, a shower or two. An isolated thunderstorm still will be with us as we head through the p.m. hours today. Thinking of beaching it right now, for a few hours, you'll have dry weather, but be prepared. You might have to run back into the cars. We do have the chance for some more thunderstorms uh, on the way. Air temperature is about 77 degrees this afternoon on the sand. Out on the bay, visibility obviously reduced any more storms that come on through. Winds from the south, 5 to 10, gusting maybe 15 to 20 in the afternoon. Here's your seven-day forecast. Tomorrow, clearly the better half of the upcoming weekend. There'll be some showers around maybe first thing in the morning. In fact, the best chance of rain would be during the morning hours. Rain chances drop off as we head into the afternoon. Highs tomorrow in the lower 80s. Scattered showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. It's not going to rain all day, but there will be numerous showers and thunderstorms passing on through. Could potentially lead to some more flooding, so that's something else we're going to have to watch for over the coming days. Mo uh, Monday starts off with some showers. Sunshine returns for the afternoon. Full forecast always at WPRI.com. Let's get an update now on your morning commute.